everyone this is Angela here and today I want to talk about um, part four of growing up a child of a hoarder and in today's video we're going to be talking about my brother and how my mother's hoarding disorder affected him um, and basically you know I want to say that this I'm talking about my siblings and I'm um, sharing their experiences from a third party's point of view, um, which I absolutely know is a fact, okay, because I live side by side with them. And when we last, in, in my last video, I talked about my little sister and how it affected her but there were some things that I didn't mention in that last video the first thing that I didn't mention is uh from when she was born okay when she was born it was both my grandparents um who took her in my grandpa was alive and he died when she was three years old um I don't think that my grandmom expected him to die so soon the way he did but it was pretty quick he was diagnosed with lung cancer and then he passed on and that was a very traumatic experience for my aunt the one that had cerebral palsy um so that was a difficult thing to cope with um as i said my aunt was very difficult to live with because she was she was not a narcissist, but she was very, very immature and very self-centered um, type of individual. Um, I would say that she was stunted. And this is what happens to children when they're um, over cared for, okay? Children, you know, it's like when children depend on their parents well into their adulthood, um, and it's a problem in society, but getting back to hoarding, well, maybe I'll do a video and talk about that whole specific issue, but the issue with, is concerning today's topic is my brother, okay? My brother is the oldest out of all of us, okay? Um, he's three years older than me. He, he's two years older than Geraldine, Jerry, and he's 18 years older than Natalie, my youngest sister. Um, so what happened was, during the early years of my life, my brother and my sisters and I were not really close. Um... Well, this was before Natalie was born, so let's just talk about Jerry and I with my brother. Um, my brother was the only boy and the firstborn, and in an Italian family, um, it's quite common for the boys to be a bit more favored than the girls at least that's been my experience i don't know about in other families okay um if anybody has a comment they want to share if you're an italian uh please do share but that has been my experience my brother was parentified um into babysitting which was an inappropriate for a child that's you know, he, he was a child to give him that much authority. And having that kind of authority over your younger siblings at, let's, let's see, like, you know, from early as nine years old, okay, he had that authority. Um, he became abusive. Um, my father was always working. And when he wasn't working, he was complaining about my mother, you know, with the house and all, all this other situation going on. And they used to fight a lot over finances and different things like that because my mother was really bad at managing money. Um, 
she would always spend more than they made and it created a lot of friction in in and a lot quite a bit of domestic violence in in the house so it was rough um in the early days the house was not a level five hoard i would say it was a level three where it was really really cluttery um, it was still embarrassing to go over to my parents' house because there was n no rules, no boundaries. It, it, it was a hot mess. And um, as such, it was a problem. It was a real problem. Um, so he used to bully us a lot. Um, you know, he always used to be first with everything like um let's say my parents were out working and he got money to get food okay he, you know he's supposed to share or whatever but they would always give the money to him and he wouldn't share um we had a little tv in the bedroom this this is when i was 11 years old at this time and he used to, we, the only TV that we had, he took it in his room. Um, and, you know, I'm kind of getting off topic here. I'm trying to explain from his perspective. My brother absolutely loathed being in the position of authority. He did not like it. He really didn't. Um, he felt stressed, I, I would say. You know, in one way, it, it gave him power. But in another way, he felt stressed. He was very unhappy. He did not like the horde at all. I mean, it. it he was a very angry child, okay, over that situation. He used to... I had to share my bedroom with Jerry. And he had a bedroom to himself. Everything in his room was neat, clean, and organized. And he set the boundary. I mean, it was crazy. It was like, it was almost like he was the parent and my mom was the child. I kid you not, at nine years old. I mean, he would not allow my mom to put anything in his room. Okay? He always made his bed. He always kept things tidy. It was like the cleanest room in the house. Um... My room wasn't cluttered as much. You know, it wasn't like like structurally organized like my brother's room, but my room was more normal. Like like the way my house is now. My brother is I would say obsessive about being neat and organized. He was that way as a child and I believe that when he became an adult it became the point where it was a bit on the OCD side. Now, whether or not he has obsessive compulsive disorder, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, but the tendencies are there. Um, yeah, so he was a very angry child um, when he was at home. He complained about not having dinner. You know, he did not like the fact that my mother was very dirty. He did not, none of us liked it, but he uh, was overtly complaining more than anybody else. Um, he did not like the fact that his clothes, like, like his needs were not attended to. And that, rightfully so. Um, Jerry and I were not as vocal about it. I used to complain too, but... It was weird, okay, to better explain it. My mom and I used to get in the fights all the time over stuff not being done. Um, you know, it's pretty bad when you don't have clean clothes to go to school. And you look disheveled and you're getting, you're getting picked on at school and teased and, you know, bullied and stuff over this because... You know, it's up to our parents to groom us to make sure that our our basic needs are met as children. And my mom fell short of that. My mom fell short of that. 
and it, it was it was really bad really bad and it was bad for him um my mother one time when we used, when we went to catholic school my uh my brother needed a school shirt and my mother didn't have one clean okay she didn't wash his clothes so there was none clean for him so he she tried to put one of our blouses okay on him and he wasn't having it because the girl's collar on on the uniform blouse was more roundish shape and the boys collars were you know triangle shaped and she, you know he didn't want to get teased so he got into a big fight with her over that and that was pretty much life with a woman that that was a narcissist and a hoarder you you're not going to have your need uh, as a child you're not going to have your needs met Finding things was a disaster. Um, there was a lot of chaos. There was a lot of screaming, in, especially in the morning because everybody had to get out and she had to go to work. We had to go to school. And it, it, it was total chaos. Um, when we came home from school, nobody was there. Um, so we had to come home to an empty house and it was <laughs> a no holds bar, you know. It's like Jerry and I, we used to we used to stay out all day because the kid was a nightmare, okay? The kid the kid used to um beat us up. Like when we were kids, you know, he to him it was playtime, but to us it was abuse i mean he used to tie us up with my dad's neckties and play games like that and do things and cross boundaries with me in particular you know that i don't wish to share on this channel i just don't want to talk about it because it's just too painful and there's just some things that i just don't want to talk about so that's what happened and he he used to resent her because of those reasons because of those reasons, not having a clean house, being embarrassed, not being able to have a friend over, um, constantly having to pull teeth, fight with her over get, having uh, our basic needs met. And it just wasn't going to happen. Just not going to happen with a hoarder. Just not going to happen. As he grew up, okay, um, his escape was different than my escape he he chose to join the military he wanted to go to college he wanted to move out he wanted to get the hell away from her and that's basically what you do when you're a child of a hoarder you looking for a way out unfortunately in my situation it was it was different so we all went on different paths so this is the conclusion the conclusion was my way out of it was to get married you know that's that was my way out of it that was Jerry's way out that was my sister Natalie's way um, we she ran away first and then you know I shared her her experience and it was very traumatic it was very traumatic so in conclusion of this video um, to say, I just want to say that growing up a child of a hoarder was a living nightmare from the child's perspective. Um, it was a psychological effect, a negative effect. Um, there was a lot of resentment, a lot of fighting, a lot of chaos, a lot of tears, a lot of painful memories. Some good ones, not all bad, but some pretty bad ones. So with that, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you all and have a good night. Take care. Bye-bye.